Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alia. So today we have another hair tutorial. I honestly don't know what this hairstyle is called. So the back of my hair is like big and poofy and kind of like wavy because I had it in some braids to keep my hair from tangling overnight. And the front of my hair is slicked down with some gel and some clips. And it's a really simple hairstyle, of course. So if you wanna see this tutorial, please keep on watching. So this is how my hair started out in this crinkly type look because I had the braids in overnight. So, and there is no type of way I did the braids. It was just some really, really big braids. So I decided to divide my hair in three parts. The back of my hair is just gonna be out and the front of my hair is gonna be sleeked down, slicked down. So the front of my hair, I'm gonna take some clips just to keep my hair from like being all over the place. So now I'm gonna take some water and just spritz my hair. And I honestly think, well, this is what I live by. Any hair that I do, I make sure my hair is just a tiny bit damp, just so I'm not like pulling on my hair or causing any uh, breakage. So initially, I didn't know how much gel I needed for this style, so I had put a little bit on my hair. But honestly, I'm just gonna take some gel and I am going to put as much as I can on the front of my hair. So the gel I'm using is the Shining Gel Black Caster Flaxseed Styler. Honestly, this gel is a little light for this style. So I had to honestly go back in with some um, Gorilla Glue, but this gel did help a lot. And then I added the Gorilla Glue after. And with this style, I had to make sure the front of my hair was detangled. That's why I'm happy I put the braids in initially overnight, but I combed the front of my hair out just to get any tangles out. So pretty much, I'm just gonna let you guys watch uh, a few more parts of this video because I'm just brushing this my hair over and over and over until it's as flat as possible because my hair is curly and kind of wavy. So I didn't want any waves in the front part of my hair. So next I took a rat tail comb to camouflage the short pieces I have in my hair. This is just, you know, I'm very picky and I wanted this style to be as perfect as possible. So y'all, I had to bring the big guns out. So I brought the Gorilla Glue out for the top part of my hair. So my hair is already gelled. I just wanted it to be as stiff, honestly, as stiff as possible. So this is the only time you want your hair to be stiff is during doing this style. The front of your hair needs to be as stiff as possible. So I just added a little Gorilla Glue and it honestly helps so much with my hair not waving up. Now that I got that side as flat as possible, I am just gonna repeat the same thing to the opposite side of my hair. And you see it's waving up still. But once I connect the two pieces to the back of my hair, the waves will no longer be there. So now I'm just gonna speed up this part of the video so you guys can see me slick down the other side of my hair.
Okay, so now I'm gonna take both sides of my hair and I'm gonna tie them together with a rubber band behind my hair. And as you can see, the front of my hair, you can see the little short pieces. I'm going to use a comb to push all the hair together. And the Gorilla Glue really helped for this. Because honestly, after I did this, my hair did not move all day long. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the hairstyle. I just added a little bit more gel just to really, really get the look. And then I'm just going to brush the hair all together and pretty much like fix some of my edges or whatever and then we're good to go. Okay, so the ending of this hairstyle, I'm just taking the back of this hair out and I'm just going to play around with it and get it, get as much volume as I can. Um, that is how I like the hairstyle. I like a lot of volume. So I'm just going to comb the hair out without actually messing up the waves. And that's pretty much it. So now I have my hair at the volume that I actually like it and I think it's really pretty like this. I decided to add some clips to the hair and I really thought this made the style even cuter. So you can add whatever type of clips you want. I just added four clips to the side of my hair like so. So another little tip that I like to do is I like to fluff out my hair by combing the bottom part out. This just helps with more volume. So this is the end of my hair tutorial and these are my results. If you guys like this video, please thumbs up on it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.